right, we're going to begin our Wudong Tai Chi and Qigong today, standing up. And let's begin by reaching into the earth, drawing, nurturing energy up and then out, surrounding yourself with nurturing energy. Now let's do two more. I've been doing this movement for years, but somebody told me the other day it was Happy Buddha. Happy Buddha. I mean, I like that. And one more. Let's do a little bit of ringing the temple bell just to wake up the spine. And you can bring the hands up and over the shoulders if that feels good. And look behind, getting that full twist of the spine. And hands on the ribs, front and back. And let's do three more. And let's throw it away and then come up. <sighs> kind of switched it up there, sorry. Come back for three more. And let's throw it away Lee Holden style. Lee Holden is a teacher out of uh, Santa Cruz who's been featured on PBS. And this is his version of throwing it away. You rise up onto the balls of your feet and then you come down and poof, you look down and the hands go up. Let's do that again. Inhale up, balance. And exhale. Let's do three more. And make a sound, a whooshing sound. Balance and down. And this time, let's balance a little longer if you can. Reaching up, balance and. Let's rub our hands together. Little massage for the brain. Thank you, brain. Get your brain cells to light up like Christmas tree lights. I need all my brain cells working as I can get. Let's tap on our occiput. Nice deep breath here. Exhale through the mouth. onto the neck and let's come back up to the crown of the head and smile because you're stimulating your pineal gland a happy hormone producer let's come onto the forehead come onto your third eye close your eyes and imagine the third eye opening as you gently tap it and breathe in your intuition your sixth sense that little voice gives you hints and tips sometimes. Let's go to the temples. A little gentle tap and then onto the eyelids. Thank you, eyes. And notice what you see. Always different. Thank you, eyes. Thank you, nose and cheeks. Thank you, upper gums and teeth. And thank you, lower gums and teeth. Let's hope go to the TMJ and see if you can get a yawn and, and apply some pressure here. Oh, oh. And another one or a big sigh is good too. Oh, we hold lots of tension in our, our temple, our jaws. And then to make peace signs and go on either side of the ear, rubbing the front and the back of the ear. And then pull down. Pull well down, nice and easy, doing a little lymphatic drainage massage. Let's rub our ears. There's that wonderful point at the top of your ear. You put your thumb under the flap, and squeeze with your index finger, compress it, and that's for allergies. 
that's a nice way to suppress the allergic reactions. And then rub your ear all the way down to the earlobe. Rub the back of the ear. Thank you, ears. And then let's tap our lungs. Thank you, lungs. Exhale through the mouth, dispelling old toxic chi, or stuck chi. Thank you, heart. Onto the breastbone. Thank you, thymus. Thank you, immune system. And one hand over the shoulder, and you can really bring your elbow across the inside the shoulder blade. Just a little tricep stretch. Let's either rub or tap the arm. Different times feels different, different, better for me. Rubbing, obviously, today. Rubbing the palm and rubbing out to the web space between the thumb and index finger, the index and middle finger, the middle and ring finger, and then in between the ring finger and the pinky finger. And let's rub up and then a gentle brush. And then let's go over the other side. And you can get a big assist and bring it way across, go way back. I'm kind of in the middle of my back right now. And then down the arm. Thank you, elbow and forearm. Thank you, hand. Rub, radiate from the Lao Gong out to the web spaces. And then let's brush. And then come on to your torso. Thank you, organs. Down into the digestive organs, sexual organs, elimination organs. And then give your pelvis and the hip bones a nice rub. Go on to the kidneys and adrenals. Nice vigorous rub here. You can use the knuckles, you can tap, use your fist, rub onto your glutes, and then let's continue to rub down the front of the legs, top of the thighs. Go to the outside, so the T-bands, and then the inside, and then the backside. Let's rub the knees, do circles, get some energy flowing in the knees, and then down the legs, to the ankles, and then give your feet a nice tap all around your shoes. Thank you, toes. Thank you, arches. Thank you, top of the foot, and thank you, bottom of the foot. And place your hands on your belly and lengthen your spine. Take a nice deep breath as you thank your body. Let's breathe into the belly and puff it out. And then continue to breathe up into the neck and shoulders and hold the breath. And now purse your lips and let it go. Blow out till there's nothing coming out and stay empty for your count of three. And then again, inhale, belly up to the chest and to neck and shoulders. Hold it. This time, tip your chin up and make a puffing sound. And let's do that three more times. Bringing the air up, holding it, holding it. And then release. I'm counting to 10 as recommended. We can hold our breath for 10 seconds. We're good. A little whale breathing. Last one.
and then let's take another deep, slow breath. Notice the length and quality of your breath. Feel your entire body breathing. One more slow, deep breath. So good for our nervous system. And good. Give yourself a little shake. Bounce up and down. Wiggle your head. Blow thoughts out of your mouth. Shake your shoulders, a little shimmy. Shake your hands. Shake your bottom. I don't know how many of you watched or took part of the uh, World Tai Chi and Qigong Day Summit last Saturday, but many of the masters were talking about the benefits of the shake and the bounce. So just know that when we do this, this is a really healthy thing. Good for your joints. Good for the heart, it lifts, raises the heart rate a little bit. Good for the breath. And let's do one more deep breath as we bounce. And then a little blither, <sighs> shake it off. Two more deep breaths. <sighs> And let's bring our hands onto the heart. Close your eyes. Let's see if you can sense your heart beating. And thank your heart. And good. Let's do one more exercise before we begin the eight brocades. And it's a variation on placing the sun and the moon in the sky. And we'll have our hip feet about well, a little wider than hip distance. Let's sink into the feet and rise up as if you're pulling energy out of the earth. And let's make a sun. And we'll shift the weight slightly, twist the torso, and place the sun in the sky. It's like you make a window. And then let's open bring the left arm across there's a scoop take hold of the sun and let's bring the sun through the body place the sun in the sky look through the window and then open let's inhale and exhale Inhale and look. Exhale, draw across. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And let's take an extra exhale here. And now inhale, open, you open your chest. And then exhale. Bring the moon energy through your body with the inhale. And place her up in the sky. Exhale. Inhale. Drawing, opening up the window to your experience. Exhale. Inhale. Moon energy through the body. And exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. What do you want to expand in your life? Here's the opportunity to grow it and expand it and gather it. Bring that fresh energy through. Ha. Ah. 
Let's do one more time. Let's inhale and hold. Make the window place. Inhale, open. Exhale. Sun and the moon. Inhale, bring it through. Exhale, look. And then big opening here. Surrounding ourselves with both the sun, the moon, the earth, and nature. And well, let's bring our feet together. Sense your roots going into the earth, connecting. Sense your crown opening. Smile as the light of heaven flows through your body. Invite Mother Earth, Mother Nature, Father Sky, all to convene at your heart. And let's begin with the eight brocades. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Full of energy. Inhale, pull it up. And exhale. Oops. Inhale to the chest. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale, climbing the ladder to heaven. Inhale. Soften. Exhale. Inhale. Tighten your pelvic floor muscles. As you exhale, release them. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Palms down, exhale, soften, feel the energy sliding through you. Last one, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, gathering all the stars in the sky. Give yourself a, a, self a star shower. Take an extra breath. Soften and let the starlight flow down to the earth. Inhale. And exhale. Palms up, thumbs touch in the navel. Deep breath. Let's take a wider stance. Knees slightly bent. Pull the energy up to the heart and then push out in front. Palms up, make light fists, bring them into the waist. Left hand punches first, punching with an angry glare and letting go. Release. Inhale and gather.
And watch the punching hand and the gathering hand, energy out. And as you turn the hand over, that cuts the energy and allows you to grab some fresh energy. Energy in. Last one. Let's make fists, have them tight, give them a little shake. Letting go of regret, frustration, anger, and Let's gather as we step in a little bit. And one deep breath. Hands slide across the front of the body down to about the knees. And then energy coming up out of the earth, being drawn up by your fingers. And have, we'll make our yin yang symbol, right hand on top, and then roll the ball over. Let's exhale, palm up, palm down, twist, inhale, and exhale. With the inhale, unwind, draw yin up, yang down, bring it to the heart. And exhale and twist. Full deep breath. And the inhale, unwind, drawing fresh energy from the sky to the earth, it meets at the heart. And as you exhale, imagine old tired energy leaving the head and leaving the body. Twist, full breath. Notice what you see. Inhale, unwind. And exhale. Notice what you see this side too. Make a note as the border, so your the boundary, and each time see if you can surpass it. See if you can look a little further, twist a little further. As you inhale, unwind. Last one. And inhale, bring the energy to the heart. Let's breathe it in and send it down your body. Transition. Resting breath. Stepping out, wide stance. The wise owl looks around, hands come to the side. Let the arms just dangle and bring the shoulder across the body. And look up. Spiral around. And then look down. Inhale as you initiate the big twist and spiral.
and exhale down. Arms dangle, let's go to the other side, leading with the shoulder. Again, notice what you see. Eyes are open. Last one. When you're ready, roll up to standing. And let's step in. Resting breath. Picking up the heavy pails of water. Let's start with the Wudong style. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Open your heart, gaze upwards. And then let's bend the knees, widen the shoulder blades as we squat down, pick up the heavy pails of water, use your legs, go over the left shoulder as we open and inhale. And the exhale, we place the buckets back down. Nice squat. Inhale, lift up. Open. And exhale, using your legs. Inhale as you come up and open. And when you're ready, exhale, put them down. Last one. And now Hangzhou style. They keep their legs straight in Hangzhou. So nice straight legs and then reach out towards the screen, flat back, bend the knees, pick up the heavy pails of water, look over your shoulder. And straight legs. Reach out, flat back, bend and lift. Last one. And we'll put it down, straight legs. Bend your knees. Keep the chin on the chest this time and roll up. Let's transition. A nice resting breath. Quieting the monkey mind. Let's inhale up. 
Exhale. This is the one where we cover our ears. Bringing peace and quiet into the mind. Deep breath. Pulling the bow to shoot the buzzard. Let's take a wide stance. Left arm wraps around, make the sight. And go as low as you want, dynamic. With the inhale, rise up. And exhale, sweep across. Make a fist with your right hand. Pull fresh energy into the heart and aim. Inhale up. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale up. Last one, each side, clearing away the obstacles, bringing what's really important into your heart. Aim, see it, release the arrow. Other side. Let's embrace tiger. Deep breath in here. And sink the energy down. Step in. Bring the hands across as we trace the yin yang meridians. Wudong style. Big hands full of energy. Deliver that healing energy to your belly. Hands on the body. Come up the front. Give yourself a little Chinese facelift. Brush thoughts out of your head. Hands come around to the heart and then across the ribs. And let's compost all the way down to the feet, pushing energy. And inhale up. Exhale. Inhale up the front. And exhale, the back of the head, hands to the breastbone. Inhale, so pulling fresh energy through those core organs and to the kidneys all the way down to the ground. Last one.
transition. Deep breath. And let's close. Full deep breath. And we'll do the Taoist bow, grasping the left thumb with the right fist. And good. Give yourself a little rub. Rub your knees. Let's bring the feet together again. Reestablish your connection to earth, to heaven and life all around you. And let's do the Wudong Tai Chi from beginning to end. And then we'll break it down into different pieces. And I'll cue the breath. Let's inhale, let's go. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Create the spiral as you inhale. Bring it up to the heart. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. You want inhale and exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. Exhale. 
Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Let's inhale. And exhale, punch, open. Roll over, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, all the way to the head. And exhale. Another breath. Let's close. Full breath. And then inhale as you float up. Taoist bow and exhale. Okay, do any little adjustments you need to do on your body. Master Joe always taps his hips and his knees, his kidneys. And let's do it again. I just hid the breathing. And um, some places are a little tricky, so you can, you know, figure it out as you go. This time I'll cue the images because I, I like them. Some people like them. I'm one of them. And let's sense your roots. Sense the sun and the moon and the stars shining down upon you. And take a deep breath and sense your own body. And we make the bow of reverence and respect honoring the form. Bringing the symbol of yin-yang right into your body. And there's a shrug. And we move energy down and we energize our fingers as we pull fresh earth medicine up and deliver it to our lower dantian. We spread it into our body and into the energy field as we become a graceful crane. And we gather the whole universe. And we bring that infinite energy through the brain, through the heart, into the belly, and the hands on the belly. We pull it back to the kidneys, all that universal wisdom, and we bathe our body, lower body with that. Fingers alive. And then there's a pause. And we form. And then we turn it upside down. Lifting the threads of the loom, the fair maiden moves the shuttle. And then cloud passes through the mind, releasing old thoughts, gathering fresh energy. We reform the Tai Chi ball briefly until we ward off old energy out, grasp the phoenix tail. Rebirth and renewal flow through our being. Opening the tiger's mouth, we survey the world with the focus of the tiger. And then we see it from a different point of view. And we feed our phoenix. And we spread the, we spread the seeds of rebirth and renewal into the world and push away 
old ways. Reach into Mother Earth, gather love and healing, bring it through your body into your heart, and let's share it with the world. Creating a spiral like the universe. We bring the universe into the belly, into the heart. There's a kick, extend, lock, lock, and sink. Opening the tiger's mouth again. Now we polish the pearl. There's a brush knee up and over with the other arm. Finding the pearl. And we roll it in the hands. Another cloud passes through our mind. Coming around, we gather the tea tray and we serve the tea. We come on the diagonal and it's a undulating crane. Brush, brush, step back into open the tiger's mouth. Brush knee, send chi, stepping out on the diagonal, wings come up, and then sink back and fly, balancing crane. Play the peepaw and repel the monkey. Arms on the diagonal, swing them around, step in, form your Tai Chi ball, and reverse. Left arm back, right arm forward. Make fists and punch. Open the fists, releasing anger. Palms face the body as we give ourselves a Chi bath. And then we look through the window of our own potential, and we expand it. Invite ourselves to see more of what we think we are. Gather energy, let's bring it up to the head. And let's send it back all down to the earth. We'll close. And we honor our teachers. And lovely. Let's see. So let's see. We go. Uh, let's see. I have to figure out how we get to the T spiral. That's right. So we spiral in. Kick. Back, back. Oh, no. That's not there. There's that spreading. So let's see. So there's, I'm not, that's the front foot is unweighted and we block, block and the front foot steps back and there's no weight on my, you know, your left foot. Does that make sense? Let's see. I got to figure out where we are. So polishing the pearl. Oh yeah. So yeah, we polish the pearl. It's a brush knee. Sen chi. It's up and over actually. And then we polish, we roll the pearl in our hands, the cloud, step in with the right foot, step out, weights on the right foot, and no weight on your left foot. And then block, block, step back with the left foot here. And then it goes into the brush knees and she, both wings come up, come down, and then into the pee paw. Oh, I think that was what you were talking about. So the weight's on your, you're standing on your right leg, left leg lifts, left foot just lands, no weight on it. And then that you're ready to go into repel monkey. Two, three. Okay, I'm going to step forward. So this is so we're on the right foot, and then we circle our arms around 
and bring the chi ball in. So we've done the repel monkey, spiral, find the ball, and then you reverse the, your left hand goes to the back, right hand goes to the front, you spiral and you find the ball. So you repel monkey, twist your torso, find the ball, unwind, make fists, step forward, punch, open, roll the wrists, save, and then open. Tai Chi is a little harder to teach, I find, than Qigong on, online because there's questions and there's nuances and there in, there's intricacies. And uh, with Qigong, it's kind of like, well, anything goes. You know, there's no uh, right or wrong. It doesn't really matter. It's more the feeling. But the Tai Chi is a little bit more refined. And uh, so we just, we just do it as uh, best we can. Nice and loose. Smile to your spirit. And this time I won't say anything and just tune into your breath and see if you can coordinate each movement to a breath that makes sense. And let's go.
And let's keep the hands on the lower dantian. Smile to your body and thank it for being the magnificent miracle that it is. Resilient and strong. And let's bring the hands up to the heart mind center, the middle dantian. And all of you are experienced Tai Chi and Qigong practitioners, you know the benefits of calming the mind and soothing the heart and making it compassionate and open and loving. We thank this middle Dantian. And as we bring the hands up to the upper Dantian, we invite ourselves to be the best we can be, to not be afraid to show the world our gifts and who we are and to live your life as fully as you can. And that will bring joy to your spirit. So take a deep breath of joy. And let's let some joy out into the world. Some peace and calm and compassion and healthy energy. And we'll honor ourselves with a bow. And I honor you today. Thank you so much for spending some time with me on your Wednesday. <laughs> 